Hello, it is Wednesday the 19th of January. I am Callum, this is Flat Cap Callum channel. Welcome to you all. We've um, got quite a lot of, of bets to go through today. So we've got 13 horses across all our bets, plus we've got some golf. Um, and this week I'm actually going to put golf in the actual staking plan. So quite a bit to get through. Before we do, let's do our review of yesterday. Um, yesterday... Uh, Bit of a mixed day, I think, really. Um, it was a £20 stake. I made a total, I believe, of 13.39. So it was a 6.61 loss. So we only got back about two thirds. Um, and I guess the first thing I would say about that is I'd like to make an apology because uh, the video was out late. It was a bit rushed. And I, the horses I was happy with, the way I did the bets wasn't. And I really think uh, had I done that in a different way, it should have been a break-even day. So I will apologise and say I think I got the, the bet configuration wrong in terms of how I did those bets yesterday. Um, so we go through them. Bet one, uh, we had two places, Eros and Martha uh, Willow in there. So we got a return of about £4.33 from that bet. And we had one, one no-show per Vino Veritas. Then in the main lucky 15, we got two places, that's all. Manvers House 15 to 2 was fifth, which was what Skybet were paying. Uh, and then Kaiser 325 uh, yesterday at Newcastle 14 to 1, so that was a decent enough price. Um, so we got back a few bits bits from there, but ultimately slightly down on the individual bet. And then the win Trixie only managed to land one leg, Bernard Spear point. So all three bets uh, individually were, were slightly behind overall. That meant a 6.61 loss. So we've started the week with, with two two lost days, which is not great. Um, but as I've always said, a reminder for those of you who are, who are new to this channel, we're about long-term profit on here. So this isn't about every day I'm going to win. I'm going to lose more days than I win. But the winning days, the profit from those would outweigh the losing days. So the aim is the end of the year to make a profit. But we won't win every day and we I do expect that we'll lose on more days than we win. Um, it's a £20 stake. It's a Skybet account that we're using these through. So you can put these bets elsewhere. They are different terms and conditions. So the ones that I'll talk about on here are for Skybet customers. Um, you can look at the bets and see if you think it makes the best, best sense to put them on elsewhere. Um, but this is all through a Skybet account. So I can be completely transparent. And what you will find there is... A number of tipsters around uh, on YouTube. What I'm trying to do is record them in a the statistics in a really honest way. And there's not very many. There's a couple of good ones that I've I've come across, but there's not very many that will be super super transparent. Um, and final reminder: all the bets are free. There is no super extras that you pay extra for. I'm not looking for any money for doing this. These are free bets I'm putting out to you to see if I can demonstrate how you can make profit by having interesting bets throughout the day. Um, and have a bit of fun along the way. So uh, that's what we're trying to do. Uh, we'll get into uh, today's bets. So uh, four bets in total and 13 horses, as I've mentioned. So there's some big prices out there today. Um, bet one is our lucky 15 for the day. Um, and we've got some very big prices you'll see. Uh, 225 up there at Newbury. John Betjeman, 22 to 1. 250 Dundalk betrayed 33 to 1. You can get 50s on other bookmakers, but um, they are paying five places on, on Skybet, and I think we might need the fifth place. So, just as a, as a, as a comment on betrayed, it, it, it's a classic Dundalk horse that I like to look at where it's got some back form, it's definitely got back form that says it could win, um, but it's, it's not necessarily turned up so well the last couple of times. But if it clicks in, 33 to 1 is a massive price. Um, so I've stuck it in today. Uh, four twenty, she's good company. Twenty two to one, and four fifty, the smaller price. Power drive, fifteen to two. So we've got fifteen p each way, lucky fifteen, and four thirty p each way, additional singles. So that's six pound ninety of our twenty pound stake. So it will get a little bit fiddly today. I do apologise for those people who like to have nice and clean numbers. It's six pound ninety is what that bet is. One bet one. Uh, bet two. Uh, this is definitely the fiddliest bet of the day. Bet two. So, so I'll try and explain this as we go. Um, so we've got four horses. I'll run through the four horses first. Uh, Two fifty Dundalk Collective Power. Three twenty Dundalk King of Cashel. 
350 Dundalk, Razdan, and 605 Southall Magic Gem. So the main bit of this bet is it's an each way accumulator. So you'll see down the bottom there, it's a one pound each way accumulator. Um, and I've done a few of these already on this channel. We've had a nice successful one uh, where all four placed. The, the tricky thing with this one is today is I do think these horses, any one of them could win. And I wanted to put a little bit of insurance there that if, if one leg lets us down, we might be able to get a little bit of something back. Um, so therefore we've boosted the bet up a little bit. So we've got 40p each way singles on the bottom three where the asterisks are. So no single on collective power, but the three bigger prices, 40 pence each way singles. And then we've got 25p win doubles and trebles. Um, so it, it does come out a little bit, a little bit fiddly, but it's a little bit of insurance that that says if uh, if a couple win and and one doesn't get placed, that actually we're more likely to get we get a bit of something back there. So six ninety is the bet again there, uh, and apologise it's a little bit fiddly. I know that's not going to be everybody's cup of tea, uh, but that's that's how I've done it. So <laughs> I'm just going to crack on. Uh, bet three is our win bet. It's only win bet of the day. Um, not a great price on the front one, uh, Dynamite Kentucky, but I think it's a really solid horse that, that should should win comfortably. So I'm going to take the 10 to 11. Um, these are best price guaranteed on Skybet because they're not additional places. So if it does drift, we will get a better price. But I'll take 10 to 11 for now. And then 340 uh, as an on course. We're both at Plumpton, 3 to 1. So it's a £1.20 win double. And a one pound win single on on course. That's two twenty of our bet. And then the last bet is a little bit more straightforward. You'll be pleased to know uh, three horses at Southall tonight. Um, bet four is four thirty five. But you said twenty to one, five oh five. Uh, do you believe twelve to one and five thirty five? Take one for the team. Apologise if you can't read that writing so well. Um, just to, I guess to flag on this top two uh, paying four places on Sky Bet. The bottom one is only a six runner race. Uh, I'm scratching off two of those horses right off the back, so I think it's therefore a four horse race. And I think ten to one for that horse, it could definitely win that race. Um, is a is a really decent price. So um, I won't often do that in in kind of six six runner races, doing each way bet. But ten to one, I think it's good value. All at Southall, that's uh, 20p each way Trixie and all 40p each way singles on the lot. So that is our £20 for the day. So in addition to the £20, I'm actually going to put out my um, golf and bets. And these aren't going to be for everybody. Um, so last week I, I put out some golf bets, but I didn't include them in the statistics. Um, we put some, some bets out and uh, Kevin Kisner was... Uh, I think it was third at uh, 30 to one. So we got some money back for that bet. Um, but it wasn't one I was recording in in the statistics. This is. So uh, this isn't going to be for everybody. I'm going to put that out there because um, it's it's not everyone's cup of tea. Some people just like to do straight up individual singles on an even round amount. I'll, I'll talk you through the bet and I'll explain what the methodology of the bet is. Um, but there's two decent tournaments at the moment uh, that are starting tomorrow. So the Abbey Dabby Championship and the American Express. Um, both you can get eight places on Skybet. So these are based off of the fact it's eight, eight places. So I've got four in each tournament and there's singles and doubles involved here. So in the Abu Dhabi, we've got the four there. Dean Burmester, 40 to one. Sam Horsfield, 50 to one. Adri Arnhouse, 50 to one. Richard Bland, 100 to one. And then the American Express, Seamus Power, 28 to one. Adam Hadwin sixty six to one, Andrew Landry hundred to one, and Sebastian Munoz a hundred to one. So each next to each of those is an individual single bet. So we've got seventy pence against Dean Bermester, fifty five pence each way Sam Horsfield. Um, then I can't even read my writing. Fifty five sorry fifty five pence against Adri Arnhouse, uh, thirty pence against Richard Bland. 93 pence against Seamus Power, 45 pence Adam Hadwin, and then 30 pence Andrew Landry, 30 pence Sebastian Munoz. Then across all of those selections, there is 12p, 12p, that's right, each way doubles. So that crosses over all of them. So you've got uh, 16 each way doubles there. The total amount of the bet is £12, so that is the equivalent to 60% of what we would do on a normal day. 
Now, the way that that bet is constructed means that if one of those eight places in the top eight, we will get half our stake back. If any two of those place, we make a profit. It, clearly, if anyone wins, we make a nice profit. And the more that win or the more that place, the more profit that we make. So it's it's got kind of a little bit of insurance in there. Now, clearly, if none of them finish in the top eight, it's a bad bet. If one finishes in the top eight, then we get half our money back. If it's two, we make a profit. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make a profit on the bet. So this isn't a, you know, clearly if we got two winners, we would be laughing, we'd have a grand in the bank. So I'm not saying guarantee, put all your house on this. It's not a bet for everybody, but this is how I would do a golf bet. I'd, if there's two tournaments running that I think have got some value in there, and I've done a, you know, quite a bit of research in it. This is this is my own research I do on, on golf. There's no no kind of clever stuff involved other than just manually going through and, and, and reading reading form, which is what I do for the horses. So I'm putting it out there. Um, good luck. Uh, so that's £20 on the horses today, £12 on the golf, but we won't know the outcome of that till Sunday night. But it will be included in the end of this week's statistics. That was a long one. I hope you stay till the end. Some of you might have done. Some of you might have gone to sleep by now. Either way, good luck. Cheerio. I'll see you tomorrow.